So let's talk about Doppler effect. You may have heard your teacher talk about Doppler effect and you may not know what is Doppler effect and how it relates to rate shift. So perhaps it is better to explain visually. So here's the thing that it emits waves. It could be a fire truck emitting sound. It could be a star emitting light. It could be a duck creating repose on a pond. Those are all waves and they all look something like this. We see the Doppler effect happening. When the thing that is emitting waves moves it, the, in the direction it's moving, the wave front bunch up and behind it spreads out. If our object is moving towards a stationary observer, these bunch up waves are observed at a high frequency. And if the object is moving away from the stationary observers, the waves are being observed at lower frequency. So that is Doppler effect. The apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. It makes sense, but it gets interesting when you consider some of the applications. So let's say you are standing in the middle of the road. That's, that's you. And the car drives past you very fast. And it does so. It honks his, its horn. And it sounds like this. So it starts at a higher pitch and moves to a lower pitch. Even though from the driver's perspective, the horn is playing same pitch the entire time. So what's going on? As the vehicle is coming towards you, the sound wave that is emitting bunch up and so are delivered to you at a higher, uh, higher frequency, which you interpret as higher pitch. Because the frequency of sound waves is pitch. And then when the vehicle passes you and moving away from you, the sound wave spreads out and so you hear them at lower frequency, a lower pitch. Now, that's how Doppler effects works with sound. It also affects the wave uh, such as light. Let's say you look out at your observatory and you see a star. Just like the car's sound waves, if the star is moving towards you, just a little bit, the light waves that emits will be bunched up, meaning that you will see the light at a higher frequency than it actually is. Frequency in sound is pitch. So what does it mean? Well, if we look at our handy pocket electromagnetic spectrum, we see that small change in frequency for visible light will change its color. Higher frequency light wave means bluer light and lower frequency means radio light. This is called as red shift and it may possibly be among the weirdest of all time. Stars or anything that you can see change color depending on their relative motions to you. Of course, you can't see this in this minute different in your eyes, but for astronomer with right equipment can use this red effect to calculate how the star is moving, whether it's towards you or away from you very quickly and they can also calculate the speed. And this is a very important piece of evidence about Big Bang Theory. Isn't that a very interesting and important discovery? Let's look at another example. If a motorcycle headed towards you, the sound wave get compressed causing the pitch to rise. After it passes you, the pitch drops because the wavelength gets stretched out. The same thing happens to light. If an object is headed towards you, the wavelength of light from the source gets compressed shorter, we say the light is blue shifted. If it heads away, the wavelength gets longer and it is red shifted. Apply that to a spectrum and by measuring that shift, we can tell if an object is moving towards or away from us. And here's a teaser. This becomes super important later when we talk about galaxies. This universe is expanding and it's red shift that allows us to figure that out. So that's a bit about red shift, blue shift, and Doppler effect. There's so much more to cover in this astrophysics. So I'm making this video today, and in the future, I'm going to make more videos, make, maybe explain about the HR diagram and other topics. So if you're interested to learn more about this topic, you can fill in your information below so that when the new video is being released, you'll get notified, okay? So I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you remember to fill in this form right now. Thank you.